What's up guys, ZeroTech00 here and today we are going to test the Windows Defender Antivirus versus the Sully Win.exe Trojan so I really hope you guys will enjoy this video and let's get straight to it. But before we get straight to it, I want to show you guys the cinematic of the Windows Defender Antivirus. Okay guys, so now that the cinematic is over, let's get straight with the first test. And just know guys, for the first test we are basically gonna try to extract the salimin.exe trojan on desktop while all the protections are on, on the Windows Defender antivirus. So with that guys, let's extract this trojan here in 3, 2 and 1. And as you guys can see, the Windows Defender antivirus has detected and stopped the trojan, the salimin trojan from basically being extracted as you guys can see it's detected here so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna remove it and then we're gonna get straight into a second test okay guys so right now for the second test we're basically gonna run the salimin.exe trojan but this time with other protections on it already got detected but i'm still gonna try to run it and as you guys can see once again it got detected and right now we can't really run it anymore because the windows defender antivirus has already stopped us from doing so and it also detected it and removed it from the desktop as you guys can see so with that guys let's move on straight into the third test okay guys so basically for the third test we are gonna run the salimin.exe trojan once again but this time with the cloud delivery protection off so with that guys let's run the salimin.exe trojan again in three Spike. Never mind guys. Never mind, I got psyched by the Windows Defender antivirus. So as you guys can see, even with this protection off, the Windows Defender antivirus has still detected and basically removed the Sunny Windows Exit Trojan from here. So with that guys, let's once again move on to the fourth test. Okay guys, so right now for the fourth test, we're basically gonna run the Sunny Windows Exit Trojan, but this time around please stay off this time around with the real-time protection off only as you guys can see so with that guys let's run the salimin.exe trojan once once again in 3 2 and 1 okay i don't have a good feeling so i'm gonna disconnect the there we go guys we got infected so there we go guys as soon as we deactivate the real time protection we basically get infected so what i'm gonna try to do with basically be to reactivate the real time protection on windows defender as you guys can see and now i'm gonna try to do a quick scan as well and right now we can hope for the best so i guess i'm gonna leave you guys with a small fast forward montage and after this thing is uh, gonna finish then i'm gonna be back Okay guys, so as we can see the Windows Defender Antivirus has finished the scan and it's basically telling us that uh, it detected the... I'm assuming that it detected the, the Salin Win.exe Trojan so I guess we are gonna try to remove it and hopefully the, the Trojan will also stop working but I'm pretty sure it won't stop working because this Trojan just seems too powerful I mean the GDI effects and all this stuff are really wild Okay, never mind, that was a poor choice of words because it seems like the, the system is back to normal for now. It's, it's back to normal for now. So as you guys can see, uh, the Trojan got detected, it also got stopped now after quite some time of scanning and stuff like that. Despite doing a, a quick scan, it did took a bit of time. But anyways guys, what I'm gonna try to do is basically do a restart just to see the final aftermath of this system if it still works or not. If it still works, I'm gonna try to do a fifth test as well. If not, then we're gonna end the video there. So fingers crossed, let's hope for the best. And as you guys can see, the system got destroyed. So, as a conclusion, is the Windows Defender antivirus bad or isn't bad? I, I would say 50-50. It's not, it's not bad if you have all the protections on. As you guys uh, have seen, when I had uh, most of the protections on, the system was fine. Even when I tried extracting the malware, even when I tried running it, but as soon 
as I deactivated its main protection which was the real time protection at that time being, well I got infected afterwards. So you obviously, it, it makes common sense, you obviously need to have all the protections on. But fortunately some other antiviruses does have a backup protection which in case the main protection is off, the antivirus would still detect the the malware nonetheless just like the Kaspersky or the B-Defender antivirus so uh, as I said I'm gonna give it like a 50-50 it doesn't suck but in the same time it's not on the Kaspersky level if you guys know what I mean I, I'm still using Windows Defender even to this day I'm still using it because I'm careful enough and I have common sense I'm not that crazy to, to deactivate my protections and run suspicious software and stuff like that so that's the video guys I hope you guys enjoyed it my name was 0x00 and I'm gonna see See you guys next time. Bye bye.